Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Uh, welcome back to my time bench. Uh, today, um, I'm going to try uh, CDC Sparkle Dam. Uh, this is just a um, variation of uh, Sparkle Dam or uh, Comparadon. Um, it just, you know, wing is uh, tied with uh, CDC. And then uh, I still use, I still tie um, and the fish with, you know, deer hair, a wing, deer hair wing, you know, uh, either Comparadan or uh, Spakudan. And then this works. But uh, for the spring quicks, um, even at the, you know, um, just the freestone rivers, um, this uh, CDC wings um, is uh, uh, froze, froze well, um, um, realistic, you know, and then um, easy to handle uh, for me and for anglers. Uh, just need the uh, uh, CDC, CDC oil when you fish with, and then uh, uh, for me this is much easier than uh, uh, dealing with uh, deer here. And then, in fact, this is the uh, prob probably the number one um, uh, setting, number one re request from uh, Spring Creek fishermen. Um, and then, uh, so I just like to uh, uh, share with you. Um, um, I like to share my concept, you know, that uh, how to make you know um, Spring Creek flies. Okay, what I got here is uh, Dairiki 125 Imaja hook and then the thread is Viva 16 o Olive. I'm going to try um, the, uh, the uh, um, uh, brewing or baby spatter. Okay, um, here's the uh, uh, a very small bundle of uh, xenon or any other synthetic fibers for the um, uh, shuck or tail. Then for size 18, I actually count, I need, I, I just picked up five fibers here. And then uh, this is all I need. And then uh, I, you don't need such bulk. I tie in and I proceed probably three or four wraps to the hook eye. Then I'm gonna fold back and basically doubling the fiber. That makes um, ten fibers for the um, uh, tail or nymph shark. I'm going to trim here just about hook shank length. Okay, then uh, for the body, um, this is the Ataki Biot, uh, Goose Biot, uh, makes, also makes a good, uh, nice body, uh, abdomen. Then, okay. Both um, goose and turkey biot, uh, they really make um, really nice segmented body, without you know, without making any, uh, without causing any bulk. Which can be the result with um, uh, with just a dubbing. And sometimes thread wraps are a bit weak, you know. All right, I just need a good base here. So here's a uh, uh, CDC. Oh, I'm sorry. This is your type three or type four. Basically, this is the uh, um, uh, one can buy anywhere. You know, any fly shop. Okay, I'm gonna knock off the top here then for this size 
I would cut into probably I cut in half and double it. Okay. Probably I need one more. This is a bit smaller, so I just knock off the top so I can you know gather these fibers only uh, without any stem. So I topped I stacked all three uh, here. I'm going to squeeze on them. Uh, I need only fibers. Uh, I made three wraps over the wings. Now I'm going to make one, two, three wraps in front of it. Huh. And then, uh, if you want to, if you if you think, hmm, this is a bit too sparse, you know, too sparse, and then uh, uh, let's throw. Uh, would be it would be um, um, you know less floating ability. So in that case, you can undo here. I I like it, but uh, this is just a variation. I mean, uh, um, a case by case. And this is another feather here. I'm gonna knock off the top. I'm gonna bundle all the fibers here. I'm gonna tie in. See, I just pull this way, pull to to the rear end. One, two, three. So this is much, uh, much more fibers, much thicker wing, isn't it? So I'm going to trim. I'm working one one at a time, as neat as possible here. Okay. Rest is just a uh, uh, super fine dub, nature spirits. See how sparse it is compared to you know um, uh, regular sparkle then you know with deer hair or compare them, and then uh, see my wing and then um, and then the tail or a shark. I'm making kind of thread dummy in front of it. Then I start to wrap over the uh, butt of the wing. Start to do. Okay. This is pretty nice, but then again, you can even uh, make it nicer by um, this uh, carved hook. Okay, let's observe. Almost 180, at least, you know, like a fan, you know, hand. And, uh, so this is uh, what I call a CDC sparkle down. And then again, uh, uh, see how sparse it is, you know. Um, and, uh, uh, this works, well, pretty good. Apparently changing a size for uh, PMD, uh, paid molding down, uh, size 16, 18. Uh, blue wing size 18, 20, 22, uh, sometimes 24, uh, and then uh, this pretty much works well um, at any weavers uh, that have um, you know mayfly hatches. So uh, you can even tie much larger for like uh, such as a green drake hexagenia. You know the list list goes on. So this is the uh, CDC spark with and uh, try some, and then uh, well this should work for you. So. Well, thank you for watching.